Oil spills cause huge damage to marine creatures and to clean up the mess it requires a lot of money and expertise knowledge. Now oil spills generally occur when there is a breakage in pipeline when drilling operations go wrong or large oil tankers sink. It usually affects the fishermen who are highly dependent on water bodies and fishes. 100% clean up is not achieved so the environment suffers a lot. But now the question arises what exactly is an oil spill have you ever made a mess when you're not in the position to understand where to start from and how to go about the cleaning well you're not alone in this the environment too suffers from such a mess this occurs when an oil spill takes place so to define an oil spill we could say that an oil spill is the accidental release of a large amount of oil into the environment usually the marine environment and this is generally because of human activities so oil spill is the accidental release of large quantity of oil into the environment usually large water body like an ocean or a sea and this all happens generally because of human activities now human activities or human negligence can lead to the spilling of such large quantities of oil the cleaning up of such large quantities of oil that has been spilled requires scientific knowledge and definitely a lot of money it highly affects the people who are dependent on marine activities and for whom this is a source of income so in this lesson we will be taking a look at a case study where we will come across one of the largest oil spills of its kind in the history so have you ever heard of the big spill So let's see what are the consequences of an oil spill into the marine environment. So when an oil spill takes place there is a release of large quantity of oil into the water body. Now this oil spreads rapidly on the surface of the water and it forms a thin layer which is known as the oil sick. So the oil that spreads on the surface of the water forms a thin layer known as the oil sick. Now because of this oil sick it can kill water birds, animals and other marine organisms including the corals. So because of the oil spill the birds are soaked in the oil and they lose their ability to fly due to which they die out of hunger. it may also cause the birds to inject large amount of oil into their bodies which will soon lead to dehydration and thus eventually they will die the oil spill also causes blindness in marine creatures and they lose their way and sometimes the mama creatures that are present in the water body also are unable to find their way back home or find their babies do you see the marine animals are highly affected because of such oil spills The oil sometimes also reaches the seabed or the ocean bed and they affect microorganisms like corals too thus destroying these corals. So the consequences of the oil spill is many and these are usually very dangerous for the environment particularly the marine environment. Do you remember these two famous characters Marlin and Dory from the movie Finding Nemo? They are going towards the Gulf of Mexico. Now suddenly they reach after a lot of swimming a place that is black, dark and suffocating. What do you think has happened? Well, they have reached the Gulf of Mexico and it is 20th April 2010. Well, what happened on this day? the deep water horizon oil rig in the gulf of mexico exploded and after it exploded it sank deep into the ocean that is 1500 meters below sea level so after it sank down there are millions of barrels of oil that spilled into the gulf of mexico and it destroyed the ecosystem there and also caused a huge damage to usa so we just saw in the previous video that the deep water Horizon oil spill took place in the Gulf of Mexico due to which it is also called the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Now this oil spill is one of the largest oil spills of its kind in the history of marine accidents. This particular incident took place in 2010 and it is the largest marine oil spill in history also known as the big spill. 
so large was this pill that it was also named or later known as the big spill now this caused immense damage to the marine animals and plants and it also cost a lot of us dollars so before we proceed with the lesson could you help me this simple question in which year did the deep water horizon oil spill took place was it 2002 or 2010 or 2020 or was it 2001 yes we just learned that in the year 2010 the deep water horizon oil spill took place in the gulf of mexico so the big spill or the deep water horizon oil spill took place because of the explosion of this oil rig now as you can see the oil rig was positioned in the gulf of mexico the gulf of mexico as you can see is in the southeastern part of the continent of north america so here in the gulf of mexico the deep water horizon oil rig exploded and it subsequently sank down to around 1500 meters below sea level soon a large amount that is around millions of gallons of oil eventually spread across the water here reaching the coast of north america now as you can see here we have a lot of oil that got collected around the coast and a lot many was on the surface of the water itself this caused huge damage to the marine plants and animals and also cost millions of us dollars to recover from the losses that were incurred in this incident and to clean up the entire mess so the explosion was followed by subsequent sinking of the oil rig in the gulf of mexico 4.9 million barrels of crude oil spilled. 68,000 square miles of ocean polluted. 1300 miles of shoreline impacted. 11 lives lost. 170,000 dead sea turtles. 800,000 birds killed. So many animals were were impacted. So we just saw an original clip of the deep water horizon oil spill. The spill was immense causing huge damage to marine plants and animals. So we see that because of the oil spill many birds and marine organisms were trapped into the oil spillage on the shores and they all died because of oil poisoning and the inability to breathe so the oil prevented the marine animals and birds from breathing properly led to suffocation and eventually led to the death of a large number of marine species it also led to the soaking up of the birds wings that withdrew their ability to fly and eventually led to death because of hunger besides harming such large number of marine animals and plants the oil spill also took away and destroyed the beauty of many islands that existed in the gulf of mexico One of those islands is the Cat Island that was once prior to the oil spill of 2002 a prestigious island of 6 acres and 8 feet mangroves the oil spill led to the weakening of the root system of the mangrove thus destroying the hold of the soil and rapid erosion of the island from the day of incident the island slowly slowly sank and soon it will disappear and there'll be nothing left According to the wildlife and fishery study of US it says that the birds that were born on this island come back each year to find grounds to lay their nest and offsprings but if they do not see the island they do not breed at all in fact they die thus we lose on a number of generation of birds So we just saw in the previous video how a prestigious island like the Cat Island which was home to a number of migratory birds who looked for grounds to nest their offsprings was eventually destroyed after the incident of 2010 took place. Now just like that island there were many other landforms in the Gulf of Mexico that were also severely damaged and eventually destroyed. Now in the course of event the US government had to incur huge economic loss too. So billions of dollars were spent to compensate for the environmental and economic loss that was a result of the big spill. 
so here are two charts that will help us understand the amount of damage caused and the amount of economic loss incurred by the us government in the course of event as i mentioned earlier there were gallons of oils that were spilled into the waters of the gulf of mexico now can you imagine the number or the amount of oil that spilled well there were around 205.8 million gallons of oil that spilled and the number of days for which the pipeline was leaking or the oil was getting released was 87 days so for 87 days the deep water horizon oil spill led to the release of 205.8 million gallons of oil that definitely is a huge economic loss as well as it led to huge environmental loss because of the oil spill now on the part of the cost we see that the total payment by the british petroleum came up to 29 billion us dollars and besides such huge amount the government also had to pay a fine of 4300 us dollars per barrel of oil spilled so this gives us a complete idea of the amount of oil spill the number of days the leakage was going on and the amount of economic loss that had to be incurred by the government of the country now just like the big spill another oil spill that took place was in the gulf of alaska this was known as the exxon valdez oil spill that took place in 1989 so prior to the big spill the marine environment already had been exposed to or vulnerable to one of such large oil spills of the history that is the exxon valdez oil spill now the exxon valdez oil spill was the release of around 11 million gallons of oil into the gulf of alaska so into the gulf of alaska as you can see all this accounts for the amount of oil that was spilled in the waters of the gulf of alaska now this happened when exxon valdez named oil tanker ran into the reef and dumped about 11 gallons of alaskan crude oil into the waters of the gulf of alaska so this again was one of the major disasters or a major oil spill that the environment had to face so if we zoom out from this map we see that the place exactly where the oil spill took place was in the gulf of alaska this entire region colored in red shows us that the oil spill was immense and it covered a lot of water surface of the gulf of alaska so this oil spill just like the big spill caused immense damage to the marine environment and to the coastal areas along with the creatures in the gulf of alaska so the pictures here on the screen will help you understand and actually realize the amount of damage caused to the marine animals here we see that each one of them are struggling they are soaked in the crude oil and eventually it led to the loss of life of these marine animals thus losing on a generation that are useful to maintain the balance of ecosystem so the ecosystem along with economy definitely suffered a lot in the course of this event so there we were able to point out two such big events that were a result of large oil spill where we took a look at the gulf of mexico oil spill and the exxon valdez oil spill now after such two large dangerous oil spills that caused immense damage there were certain strict governing laws regarding measures to be taken when an oil spill takes place so the government of many countries took up important and strict laws that governed actions of how to go about during or before an oil spill so these points here will help us understand what are those strict laws or strict rules so we should know the ship very well the tankers that carry large amount of oil spill are generally equipped with many machines we should be aware of the available emergency kits and where we can find them during such emergency situation so we should know the ship very well other than that we should also plug the scuppers now scuppers are small nuts that are fit on the deck and these are usually kept open to drain out the water that is on the deck 
but in times of such oil spill the scuppers should be plugged in so that water cannot come up on the deck from the ocean or water below so this will prevent the coming up of oil that has been spilled from the water body now other than that we also have to use serviceable equipments now in such a situation where we are in the midst of such large water bodies we cannot afford to use equipments that once damaged cannot be repaired easily we have to use and take care of serviceable equipments which will help us to prevent further damage during an oil spill other than that we should also have strong communication so communication has to be identified communication cables need to be fixed and need to be taken care of and they need to be checked regularly so that in such an emergency situation help could be called for immediately other than that we also have to control the pumping rate and use drip trays these are other ways in which we can prevent excess loss of oil and we can go about the event easily so here we took a close view of the case study on the big spill of 2010 we learned how the big spill took place due to explosion of the deep water horizon oil rig in the gulf of mexico and eventually it led to the sinking of this oil rig led to the release of gallons of oil into the water we saw how dangerous the consequences and the aftermath of such oil spill was another such event that took place prior to the big spill was the exxon valdez oil spill of 1989 this took place in the gulf of alaska we learn certain important points to be kept in mind or procedures to be kept in mind during or before an oil spill that can lessen the impact of the situation or the disaster so the governments also need to take up more strict and sustainable ways of going about the drilling procedures that take place in such large water bodies and need to be more careful on our part as these cause immense damage to the environment particularly the marine environment and the people who are highly dependent on these that is the fishermen don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock test get all your doubts resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now